What's good everybody? It's Carpet Mike here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com installing carpet in a massive, massive master bedroom with one funky layout. But hey, in all seriousness, to all you installers out there in this time of uncertainty right now, the only thing you can do is stay healthy and if they allow you to leave the house to grab that bag of money for the day, go get that bag of money and take care of your team. When they say it's time to sit down, just sit down and relax, man. But stay healthy, get yours until you can't get yours, and when this blows over, we're gonna get back to that grind with the quickness. So anyway, we are setting up the first section here. This was a crazy, crazy master bedroom. We had an 18 footer, a 27 footer, a 15 footer, and an 11 footer for a bedroom. My dude had some square footage in his house. So we see we got our first piece down. We got the furniture sitting over on the side there running a row on this carpet here that's a rarity for me gonna go ahead and take the top cutter down there cut it off get everything ready boom 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 now we have our first piece all stretched on we're gonna move the furniture onto that we're gonna lay out the next piece which is the 27 footer look how we inching along with that crazy funky desk right there we we're worried it's gonna fall apart on us unroll our next piece now you see how we hit that wall right there that's only 18 feet there then you got a back roll because you got that angle over there in the corner where those pillars are at cool cool layout horrible to install the carpet on but we're running the row on the second piece here take top cutter down that we're going to get a nice clean cut on that edge there we're working our weights down slowly make sure we're not jumping the rows or anything keeping the one dark color on one side a light color on the other side so the seam blends in beautifully now we're going to burn that bad boy together get everything lined up tape is under it let's go claggity clag burn 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 for those of you not need to burn tar carpet, carpet seams i can't even talk let that seam iron sit in place for 8 to 10 seconds. Slide it in iron's length forward. Blend in the fibers. Make sure you're only touching carpet backing to carpet backing and not letting the fibers go into the glue. That'll make for a beautiful seam. Then as soon as that seam dries, blast the next wall on there nice and tight in proper drying time. Roughly 10 to 15 minutes, you're good to go. Slowly work your way around all those angles there, putting mad pressure on that kicker when you kick it there. Because it's a lot of open room, you want to make sure you get it stretched tight. Really, we should have used a crab stretcher on this one, but you know, I got mad kicking skills, so I was just able to kick everything on no big deal. And I know that comments will be flooded with, it's going to ripple right away, and it might. We'll take care of that. Don't worry. Now we're on to our third piece here. This is our 15-footer. We're running a row on this, getting all that out of the way. We're going to go ahead and get some tape under that. Row the next one. We'll work our way down slowly. Rose wanted to jump on this too. No fun, man. But we got it all set up. Life is good. We're going to slide that over. Now we're going to go ahead and fold that back. Rough cut everything in. All right, good to go. Let's get that seam tape under it. Boom, boom, boom. Burning the third seam now. Just working our way slowly across this room here. And then as I get that one burned, we're going to go ahead and rough cut it in. We're getting like a three foot cut off from that final wall there. It just is what it is. Funny shape rooms, you're going to have some excess material. So once again, running that seam iron all the way down there to the other inch there. 8 to 10 seconds in burning time on each spot. Sliding the iron forward, slide it out, good to go. Now I'm cutting the closet off here. Run a row, love that off. There actually was a hallway on this job too. So here I am on the hallway, just piecing that together at this point because we had so much funky excess off of that master bedroom. We were able to piece together a lot of the hallway to save them on some of their yardage and put the stairs together together custom staircase i will do a video on that one tomorrow because we actually bound the carpet on this one just to make life easier and we had some downtime so thank you so much for tuning into this madness comment below let me know how you're doing in your area i appreciate you connecting and i'll see you on the next video